Good day guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Slytaz Linux 4.0 on the Asus EPC 1000HA. Um, just like in the last video, we're going to be connecting it to an external monitor, keyboard and mouse, just because the display in this is cracked, the keyboard on it doesn't work, uh, it's missing a battery and it has a few other issues. Um, so we'll start with taking the hard drive out, because we are going to be installing it to a cheap USB flash drive. As mentioned in a previous video, the wireless card is dead, but we'll just leave it in. Since we are installing it from a CD, We'll need a USB CD drive, which we have already set up. So we'll take it over to the bench and plug it all in. So we've got it all plugged into the bench, and we'll start by turning it on and going into the BIOS and just changing the boot order. So F2, go over to boot, priority. We'll just change the external drive to be number one, and we'll save it. We have already put the Slytaz Linux CD in the drive. So we'll just go Slytaz Live. This is a really small and lightweight distribution. Um, the whole thing is around 30 meg, I believe, the ISO. And it works really well on old hardware. Once again, this is in real time. I haven't sped anything up. Select the language and the keyboard, both US. And we're on the desktop. To install, we just go up the top, click the spanner, enter the default credentials, which is root and root. As you can see, it tells you up here. Oops. Go to the top right, go to install. Uh, we won't use Gparted because it'll do it automatically. We're doing from a live CD. There it is. Um, that's fine. Select our flash drive. Use it as default ext3. We'll just use it as root root for this example. Tux, we'll do tux tux. We want grub and we don't want Windows dual boot.
you can see the CPU monitor graph in the top right. Uh, you can see it is uh, maxing out. So it hasn't frozen. All right, we're on step two. Did take quite a while to format and partition our flash drive. And we're almost finished. So that seems to install fine. So the CD's been ejected, we'll power it off, and we will try and boot from the flash drive. I'll turn it back on. And we'll go back into the BIOS again, 
and change it to boot from the flash drive. And it's Alexa. And we'll save settings. Yep. Select this for the first time. And great, we'll log in with the Tux user we created, which is just Tux Tux. And we're back on the desktop. So now we've got it installed, let's take a look around. We'll start with some video playback. We'll use VLC for this. I have tried mPlayer, but it just doesn't work as well. Out of the box, H.264, uh, 1080 and 4K, they're not going to play at all. Um, Xvid 1080 struggles a lot, as does WMV. However, MPEG-2 1080 works perfectly. So you do drop a few frames in the initial load-in. And then it runs fine after, as you can see. You're stuck at 8 drop frames. Skipping through works fine. You do drop a few frames when you skip. And full screen's fine as well. And standard dev XVID works fine as well, 480p. No issues there. It's pretty similar to how it ran on Windows 7, um, so nothing really different with that. It'll obviously do audio fine as well. Uh, next we'll try a game, so we've got eJuke32 installed, which is Duke Nukem 3D. So as you can see, works flawlessly, full speed, no lag, no stutters. The audio is coming out of the laptop speakers again. I got squashed. So Jute Nukem 3D works fine, although you wouldn't uh, install this just for games. Uh, next I'll show you how you can actually install other applications. So you go System Tools, Package Manager, and Login, which is just root root default still. First you want to recharge list, which I've already done. As you can see it's up to date. On the right hand side you have your categories, or you can just search in here. So let's try and install DOSBox. it is there, install. If you don't have an internet enabled computer, you can download uh, Slytaz with all of the packages um, local. It's around four gig, but then it boots and runs directly from a DVD and it has all these available offline. All right, so DOSBox is installed. I'm not sure what it's under. There it is under System Tools, so we'll have a look. And DOSBox works fine. Don't have Edit. I don't have any DOS games installed, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, DOSBox does work fine if that's what you wanted to use it for. And you can go full screen. So what would you install and use Slytaz for? Uh, 
really it's great for just basic uh, use like uh, playing local media although on this device only low-end media works office work like documents um, music playback very light games it, you can get VirtualBox installed that's in the uh, package manager if you wanted to play with some VMs and stuff again nothing will run on this little EPC um, but it really excels as a low-end server so you'd install your web server uh, programs or file server anything you want really and it works great other than that I'll probably just stick with Windows I think that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching.